A lot of you have done some coordinate graphing on Dreambox where you were completely confused how to do it, and that's fine because we haven't covered it yet. But the better, you, the better you do it Dreambox, the more teaching it does and the more advanced you get. So we have coordinate graphing. <coughs> also, ordered pairs is how it's known. Now this is the information. These are the notes I would have you take if you were just writing notes. How can you identify and plot points in a coordinate grid? Locating a point in a coordinate grid is similar to describing directions using north, south, east, and west. The horizontal number line is the x-axis. So the x-axis runs horizontally. The y-axis is vertically. Now, there are four different quadrants. Because obviously, we're not just going this way. We can, we can go this way and down. We can go this way and down, this way and up. We are only doing what they call quadrant one. We're only doing what they call quadrant run, one. Okay? The x-axis, and they ask this question later on this Google Slides, the x-axis and the y-axis intersect at the point zero, zero, called the origin. And a lot of times you're going to get questions like, what's the origin? Now when we're doing coordinate graphing, we always start at the origin. The origin tells us where we're beginning our trip. Okay, we start at the origin, and the first number is going to tell you how far you go on the x-axis. The second, so this, the coordinates are 5, 4. X is always written first, and then Y. Coordinates are written in the parentheses with a comma between them. So 5, 4, we start at the x or at the origin, 0, 0, and we jump over 5 times, then we land on 5. From there, since my y-axis is 4, I jump up 4 times, and it goes there. So the point for 5, 4 is right there. Always start with the x-axis. X comes before y. Run before you jump. However, it helps you remember. You're always going to go along the x-axis first. You're always going to start at the origin unless it tells you otherwise. And this is just a little run, jump, help you remember it type thing. <clears throat> so write the ordered pairs for the locations of the arena and the aquarium. So the order... Now, when you plot points, you're not going to have these lines in it. It's going to look like there's the aquarium. We're not, you're not writing line over and a line up. This is just showing you how they got there. So the arena, what's the x axis on the arena? Three. So you'd have your parentheses, comma, or three, comma, and the y is? Two. two. So it would be written with an open parentheses, three, comma, two, close parentheses. Zach? Oh, cool. See? See, for people that read the problem. And then, locate the point for which you want to write an ordered pair. So we lo located the point. So this is telling you exactly how to do ordered pairs. So if you get to an assignment or like, I don't know how to do ordered pairs, this one tells you exactly how to do it, this slide. Oh, look below at the x-axis to identify the points horizontal distance from zero, or what's zero called? Zero, zero? The origin. And then, which is its x-coordinate. X always comes first. Uh, let's see, look at the left, so y-axis, to identify the point's vertical distance, how far up we go from x, because this is... This is x of 3, but a y of 0, because you didn't go up at all. So if I had to tell you what this point was, it would be 3, 0, because you don't go up at all. But that's not the point we're looking for. We're looking for the point of the arena. So it would be 3 over, 2 up. Open parentheses, 3, 
comma, two, close parentheses. And so the ordered pair for the arena is three, two, and the ordered pair for the aquarium is, now this is when you have to fill in, the ordered pair for the aquarium is, Liam? Um, nine, uh, nine, comma, four. Nine, comma, four. Nine, four. Always X, and then Y. Always horizontal, and then vertical. Horizontal, H comes before V, X comes before Y, run comes before you jump, whatever makes it easier for you to remember. So you filled in this ordered pair. My good friend Liam told me it was nine, four. So you filled in that ordered pair, make it say nine, four. Now use the coordinate grid A to write the ordered pair for the given points. Again, for this, they're just showing you how they got it. I don't want to see lines on here. Now, those of you that follow directions probably have all these answered. So, B, Zach, what's B? 2-7. Two, seven. Two, seven. And, Bryn, what is E? 9-9. Um, nine, nine. Nine, nine. And Serenity, what is C? 6-3. Reed, what is D? 3-0. 3-0. Good. And Landry, what is F? 10-5. 10-5. So what we've just said, if you didn't keep up, I'm going to post this video, and you would go back and listen to the video if you need to and put your correct points there. Your ordered pair. It's called an ordered pair. So the ordered pair is 6 Three, that's your order pair, open parentheses, six comma three, close parentheses. That's what an ordered pair looks like. And we're going to do that when we're graphing information as well, but we'll move on to that in a little bit. Now, if I asked you, and I did, to write directions for plotting a point to represent the ordered pair four, six. So if I asked you, to write the order, how you get to the ordered pair, four, six. John C., how would we get to the ordered pair, four, six? Do you know? Where would we start? Okay, we'd start at, what's the zero, zero called? Excellent, the origin. We would start at the origin. That's the first thing that John C. wrote down, I'm sure. And then, when we start at the origin, John V, what do we do next? Um, we go up on the Y. Wait, no, we, we start at the origin and we start with the X and go. Good. So, how far do we go over? Um, four. Four. So, we're going to, your, your directions, we start at the origin, then we go down the X axis to the number four, and then Zach, finish it out for me. Up six from where you were on the x-axis. Okay, start at the origin, and you're going to get a question. What is the what is the coordinate? What is the ordered pair for the origin? Or it's going to say zero zero. What's the what do we call zero zero? Something like that. So we start at the origin. We moved five horizontally on the x-axis. From there, we moved up six vertically. So that would be a good description. Answer the problem using the coordinate graph. The toy store is located one block right and eight blocks up from zero, zero. Write the ordered pair for this location. So the toy store is located one block right and eight blocks up from zero, zero, or as we call it, the origin. So we write the ordered pair for this. So, Rosita, what would be the ordered pair for the toy store? One block west. So that first number would be one. And how, how far up do we go? 
eight. So your origin is going to be one eight. So parentheses one comma eight close parentheses. Okay, and if it was on paper, you could label it. You probably still could label it. I don't know. I'm not a kid who likes a lot of stuff. As Alma leaves the shoe store, it begins to rain. She runs to the closest store. How many blocks is the closest store? And explain. So she's leaving the shoe store. We got to figure out which is the closest store but we have to go up blocks. We can't cut through diagonally. We gotta, we gotta go up and over. So the shoe store to the grocery store would be one, two, three, and from there we go to the side, four. So the jewelry store, or I mean, sorry, shoe store to the jewelry store is four. Now, we could have also gone one, two, three, four, over first and then up, this doesn't matter because we're not drawing an ordered pair. We're just figuring out which is closer. So the grocery store is four blocks away. The jewelry store, if we went from the shoe store, we could go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We could have gone one, two, three, four, five. It's just trying to see which one would be closer. Which one looks closer? Zach, jewelry store looks closer, probably because the word is right above the shoe store. But if you put in the, the thinking and did it, you would, if you had some common sense, Thomas Payne, Thomas Payne you could figure it out. Do a little bit of thinking. And then you were supposed to go and watch the stuff that's these four sections. And then, oh, here's a good question. What would the ordered pair for the origin be, Ava? Zero, zero. Good. The ordered pair for the origin would be zero, zero. And then I got graph paper. If I don't, I'm getting graph paper for you all. And you'll, you'll do this graph paper. You'll turn that into me. And this is the information you'll graph. Along the x-axis will be minutes studied. The y is the number correct. And that, that, this might be a lesson to y'all. I'm just saying. And then justify your answers on the right-hand side. And then there are 10 problems. You're going to number a paper 1 through 10 and answer these questions. I've already gotten three from people in this class, so you guys rock. All right, so that's how to do coordinate graphing. Thank you.